from 20th Century that I wrote. Um, it's called Walking Across a Field. We are focused on at this time now. Face this way, she said. Besides you, things change when part of a century upon backwards inspection, and I'm part of only this one. Here, now, the woman said, as she clutched many, however impossible, meaning only to clutch a time with relation to anyone at herself in a manner that's speaking to people. Things change, she said, this too, everything, this amorphous den, dark, not bitter spoken. I want to say meaningful things. I want to be meaningful. I want to mean something to anyone. In the park, the city touring people. If you're going to say anything, say it at all, as anyone ever has to, why say this? Ask me how I'd answer, and I say that I don't know, I don't know, or only having asked for layers, contain anything. You can't just say anything, and you can't just be anyone. I contain years, I'm pretty positive. I contain years, and if years, then centuries. I am a century, and this is my century. If all of this is mine, then I am that century. On thinking in directives and speaking to people, as in the manner of shares, as if to be part of anything that has happened in language, implicitly shared experience of language, devastated by meaning something to someone relatively substantial, exemplified by relation across years, as if to know anyone apart from language, spread textual thoughts, extend apart devastatingly into language, record, and event. Gertrude Stein and Alice Toklas, 1906. Back to the issue of vocabulary. First and foremost, this is experience, extending apart from dialogue. Fairfield Porter is born, 1907. First and foremost, this is experience, and all the rest becomes part of an ongoing history. Lee Krasner is born, 1908. Experience of language is often impetus for theoretical developments, which have words which are with or without meaning, more than anything are shapes formed by mouth and time, said by oneself to oneself or to others. Back to thinking in directives and speaking to people, obvious experiences are often exhausted by speech, she said. Foreign words exist that make programs say program, what it is or what is this, why say this. This could have been a year of acknowledging identity, not, or central to causes, being not from there, nor from the no place, but from not the elsewhere, never once, not described, why say. Anti-Jewish pogroms in Russia, 1907. Citations overt, seen over countenance, though never once was seen before. And how to say with an obvious expression, how to be from or part of, as it exists as part of oneself. It is cold, yes? Is that so? I forget so easily. Ten, fifteen minutes ago, I've already forgotten. Ourselves in relation with relation, before perspective, while bearing individual self as appearance among others. Walking across a field, we are focused on at this time now, Jed. We are focusing on the act of walking across a field. We will focus our attention on this gesture of walking. We will act in the manner of moving our legs forward. We will press our heels to the grass while we are in the process of movement, and we will extend our toes forward. We will bend our knees as the soles of our feet press against the grass. As our knees bend, we will lift our opposite foot at the heel, and we will push our bent leg forward across space. Our opposite leg will exist in space, bent at a 90 degree angle, until it drops and our heel touches the grass, first followed by the soles of our feet, and lastly followed by our toes. At which point the heel of our opposite foot will lift, and it will shift our point of balance. We will lift that heel and bend our legs. As we lift our opposite leg at a 90 degree angle so that the top surfaces of our thighs are parallel to both the sky and the ground, we will shift our point of balance from the vertical and closer to a horizontal. We will shift our point of balance forward until our feet become pressed to the ground. 
at which point we will lift the heel of our opposite leg and draw our knee upward. We will focus our attention on neither where we are walking from or to at this time, but on the act of walking. There are many features to this. However, we are focused on walking across a field at this time. We will focus our attention on this manner of walking, on neither speed nor duration, but on this gesture of walking across a field, especially on this day with clouds. Whether we are walking in unison, it does not matter. And we will focus our attention on neither how long we have been walking or how long it will continue, but on continuing this gesture in the manner of walking we will focus on the way that it feels to be somewhat grounded despite walking steadily forward. We will focus on the way in which we are walking steadily forward. We will focus on the position of walking forward and its implications. We will focus on this position while we are walking. Whether we are walking in unison, it does not matter. We are focusing on walking across a field at this time now. We will focus on the manner in which we turn our heads periodically from side to side in discussion. We will focus our attention on the manner in which we have been speaking and the variations as to this. As to the manner, it does not matter, but rather its presence while we are focused on the act of walking across a field. In the manner of walking across a field now, we are walking in a direction forward while turning our heads at times towards each other. Each other. We will focus on this walking gesture and the expanse that surrounds our movement. We will focus on its many qualities. We will focus on its many qualities while walking across a field. We will focus on relation within this gesture of walking across a field. We will focus on this movement forward as we are walking across a field in relation. Whether we are walking in unison, it does not matter. With relation to fields, it is the movement that is most important. Bridges are constructed, they do, making the observation of imminent groups as they do, as anyone does with relating oneself to other, sides occur, other people, as any other may appear within a presence or narrative. Bridges are constructed with relation to the San Francisco-Oakland Great Bridge, as one does with relation to people crossing, men who push levels begin digging into dirt, into or out of groundings. With relation to people, as one does, will do, as one does, to cross anything, as one says to be crossed, does not matter, as to briefly cross over, mark oneself as presence before jutting the hand across an air. Wanting to extend across, we are focused on at this time. One may or may not always be alone with relation to tacit and tentative plans made. Bridges disguised as Manhattan bridges really carry, as one does when plans are made tacit, tentatively alert. And with relation to most, Halley's Comet occurs. Earth passing through the tail of the comet becomes regular event, 1910. At this point, I say, I love you. No, that's not right. I said, I love you. I love you, I said. Electric streetcars carry users in Austria, Hungary, or France, 1910, Germany, and Great Britain with relation to population figures in thousands, hundred thousands. Clyde Barrow was born, 1910, and carried any number of objects from where one expected. Having to do with information, or learning to trust information, everyone has information with or without disbelief. I want to learn everything. Elizabeth Bishop is born, 1911. New York Public Library, officially dedicated, 1911. World War I, 1914. I want to participate in a story of everyone. George Orson Welles is born, 1915. Every result bears cause. Every sign signifies. Everyone explains as if to know with knowledge. Frank Sinatra is born, 1915. Buddy Holly is born, 1915. HMHS Britannic sinks in the Mediterranean Sea, 1916. Speech patterns breed information more believable, telling as though opposite to writing. And how to speak from a single voice while speaking from many all at once without anyone else present. How to convey many in singular voice. With relation to lives as women do now on screen in swimsuits or lacking spread cuts explanatory meta sequence to explain despite however obvious development. 
At times, as women may choose to take on new life, subtracts interactions with circumstances unscripted. Saucer's Course in Linguistics, 1916. Emma Goldman arrested for lecturing on birth control, 1916. Margaret Sanger opens first U.S. birth control clinic, 1916. The grocery store with relation to Nielsen family airtime. Women who say, I want to that man with relation to Hugh Grant, Middle America, and anything <laughs> exotic. Yeah. Episodes that develop characters still rely upon. Episodic sequence. Films contain characters with real names, bearing in mind demographic trends as like patterns of speech endorse seemingly radical character. Britain initiates daylight savings time, 1916. Watching the late show, there are women who present answers to questions absurdly wrong. What can be true when asked not to act like oneself? I'm speaking since I was born. Why is it so much harder to write? Say anything about it. Mary Ford is born, 1924. One studies to become an opera singer and before too long is singing unlike oneself, then instructing others on how to sing with full body, <laughs> causing others to bear cracks, withstand own voice, and terror for sounding like themselves. Elsa Loring Hoven dies, 1927. One learns to sing, taking into account individual tone before too long, sounds altogether someone else after studying voice. Employing biology, one identifies self in relation to other arias. One learns to do so much and to grow so much. In the middle of starts, one develops questions meant to come across indignant, boisterously undefined. Have I met you once? A needle seagull is born, 1929. I don't know, it's possible to talk, I suppose. Have you heard my voice before? Says yes. Develop stops and starts before it comes to mimic. Stops and starts way of relations among people. Said as to having not grown a voice. How can one not have a voice yet? Pull, is that an expression? To get pulled, to be pulled in by someone? One belongs to many groups before too long, and that takes chances. One takes a pass at something luminous and deems it greater or less than acceptable. One takes vital chances before too long. Construction of the Golden Gate Bridge starts 1933 in San Francisco. One says anything, as one may, as like part of one's group, which may or may not be intended <coughs> result. Myself comes to group unconsciously deemed less or greater than appropriate with relation to group, stand still there, just be present, Yvonne Rayner is born, 1934. Joan Didion is born, 1934. Amelia Earhart flies from Hawaii to California, 1935. Just let me stand here. Dust storms in the West and Midwest, 1935. Frank Stella is born, 1936. Buddy Holly is born, 1936. Stand with relation to what? San Francisco Bay Bridge opens to traffic, 1936. Group alone before which I stand, taken up, like totally part of it, causes accolade or privy acceptance, glee with relation to a group of people who do just the same as one does, but similar phenomenon of affect. Someone told you how to be a part of a group once. It was as if <coughs> fleeting, only a memory once. I want to be more stable, but it won't ever. Being a way that one can count on feels flawless, but has no salience and takes up time. Every process grows different with time. Every group bears subtle difference. One grows radically more individual, and before too long that changes, tips the scale. Once I knew how to be part of a group, but before long it vanishes, forgets itself to itself over again. With relation to emotion, as anyone having may or did, does with relation to clouds that pass, as silver clouds do, in correspondence with anyone standing still in a moment. Don't speak to me and don't go. Laura Ingalls Wilder dies, 1957. I don't know where you came from. I'm learning the origins of any of this, but please don't go. Maya Darren dies, 1961. Barbara Guest and Frank O'Hara at the Cedar Bar, 1963. I don't know why you let me stand here beside you wherever after it came from. I don't know why there is any reason for anyone as anything other than this, and I don't understand what to do with how this began. Wherever it is that you are, or whatever you have been doing, I don't understand what to do with how this came from, having come from everything, having come to fruition from everything, as factual evidence does, as I've seen it, as visualizing thought pools above one's head does, clouds fill a room as someone's presence does, understood with relation to difficulty of character.
I was just asleep in my room. I left the door open so you would come in. Where are you? I'm asleep in my room waiting for you to come in. I can't see you yet, but come in. I'm sitting at my desk, as like one does when at work. It's true. Anyone may say that they're at work with legs crossed behind a desk, as the secretary does, with greater authority but desire for less tasks. Juliana Spar is born 1966. Lisa Jarno is born 1967. Trunk Tran is born 1969. It's true that I'm at work now. It's true. I'm here working my own way and wanting to. It's true. It is true. It's true that I'm my ideal. Kelsey Street Press is born 1974. Stephanie Young is born 1974. Keston Sutherland is born 1976. I want to be behind a desk of my own choosing, a fort of my own creation, 20th century. I am unsure as to how far I extend. How far does one take it? What point? Eric Estides born, 1979. Emily Critchley is born, 1980. How far can one bring an argument before useless and without point? My life is born, 1980. Cassie is born, 1980. How far can I extend myself into a group of anyone else? Walter Cronkite signs off of the Saturday Evening News, 1980. How far or how much does one need to know? Marianne Morris is born, 1981. How different am I from you? How far into you can my thoughts and opinions extend? Steve Zoltansky is born, 1981. How far do they extend before it is a stretch? Isabel Barnes is born, 1982. Lindsay Bolt is born, 1983. How long to wait before we have been waiting? Evan Kennedy is born, 1983. Danny Snelson is born, 1984. Alejandro Crawford is born, 1984. How long should I wait before it appears that I've been waiting for? Ed Stuck is born, 1984. Diana Hamilton is born, 1985. Joseph Kaplan is born, 1985. Eddie Hopley is born, 1986. Too long for this thought to pass. How many people can come with us? You, you, and you. I've chosen no one but myself to bring to this. In other circumstances, this does make the most sense. And with relation to inclusion, I've included only myself in this, though at times just the opposite, including only you. With relation to knowing, it comes from a kind of compromise, which is to say that that which I refer to knowing compromises doubt. This manner of speaking isn't without compromise. Looks speak volumes. It's just that one takes the look of another one before moving forward with regards to a larger scale. And regarding an individual scale, I like to relate. As to speaking off the cuff, saying something in earnest when my Emily Dickinson is born, 1985, says something in earnest with relation, Karima Stefan is born, 1986, as one does to say something in earnest, with regards to relation, channel tunnel construction begins, 1987. Speech takes time. Kagan Sparks is born, 1988. Circumstances in the eye of the relationship grow larger or smaller in time. I've waited to be met in airports over and over again. In so many places I have waited, not with myself but for myself, standing alone at the train station, won't agree to, won't take time to, won't wear, do, won't meet me in the middle, won't go. Having experience becomes common, out of the ordinary thoughts, having given to one's peer group, real or imagined in list form, to be read as words by others, however uninvited, as like conversations are all the time overheard, real or imagined, between actual person or otherwise, in the manner of practice or to memorize, as if to necessitate practice to speak in order of operations for conversation with actual person, imaginary by distance and bearing weight at this time, as if to say implicates when first spoken, rendered unwieldy by chance inflections, as like a turn of air or spatial turn away from the practice of rehearsal, having experience, having spoken in a manner at length, to speak in the manner of address. I grow tired of waiting for my life to start. Samuel Beckett dies, 1989. I want to change and come to be more doomed and more complicated. The pink guitar is born, 1990. As those stories of others could be any more exciting than what is one's own complications. Serge Gainsbourg dies, 1991. As we move through this landscape, the inevitable sky becomes more blue before becoming gray to black or blue-black by the reflections of transport lights. Marlena Dietrich dies, 1992. People are walking down an aisle one by one, clutching bags as though going somewhere. Sun Ra dies, 1993. 
I love to be a part, learn from, and move forward from Northridge Earthquake Hits the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles, 1994, while containing others, Odette Samson Hallows dies, 1995. I've been writing away from the 20th century. Marguerite Dura dies, 1996. I've been typing here staring out a window. Jacques Cousteau dies, 1997. I haven't won enough to make this. Benjamin Spock dies, 1998. I haven't changed enough in order to be qualified to write this. Francis Jaffer dies, 1999. I haven't developed it in enough in order to be complete. I've already written it. Gwendolyn Brooks dies, 2000. I've already left and started to make a trail for you to follow. Delia Derbyshire dies, 2001. And before it's too long, we have learned how to say goodbye. You look to start writing and realize that someone who you've been writing to is gone. And so you open a window, thinking only of her, but wanting to extend outward. Open a window and hear the sound of traffic on the street below. You look to remember her, and in so doing, you search for her in a blank field, query a database, looking to extend your thoughts of her into a space where there are sticky fields or places to spill grief into, spend time. You sit, having been affected by her, while same summer jam exists in a line, moving across the street below you, or sitting, looking at other thoughts with regard for a person. You walk into a room, existing separate from the recording of the woman speaking, that exists out a window, while the voice of her exists softly in the room from which you have walked away from and in which you are present as part of still. Standing alone in the middle of a state, which is in part your room, weeping presently or trying to, wanting to be alone while confronted by noise extending out from a street. You think of having felt this way before, like a grandmother's passing or the weight of having been walked away from by someone close to you, having to accept it and walk away as well, from something substantial, feeling cut off from, like trying to stay in a line on a beam or high bar, no one else looking but yourself, and the inability of standing still present. And you find that in writing, there is only adding to yourself, and there is only loss. And she decided instead to only add to herself, only add to the history of herself, and to become herself by writing herself. Thanks. <laughs>